Hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Secret of Mana. I, yeah, the thing I had to do in between episodes was I needed to check up on my parents. I mean, I'm out on my own now. But, it's still important to keep in touch with those you love. Especially those who raised you. But, enough of that. Let's just get going to, uh, finally get going to the cave. And we've got these water fugs. In steamed crabs. Luckily they don't have an aurora aurora borealis attack. At this time of year at this time of year, at this type of place, completely localized within a mushroom kingdom. And we get a cobra bracelet. Yeah, I wanna try and conserve Prim's MP for well, well for healing. He's leveled up enough. Yeah, we still, we still get this funky music. I love it. And I still haven't looked up what fun. What Thunder Saber does, other than maybe apply Thunder Element to your weapons. But yeah, let's go up here. Alright, let's see. Ooh, got Peddlers. They're back. Yeah, they're weak to Sylphid, so Air Blast can work on them. Yeah, I think the Kimono Birds actually, actually bring out the Peddlers. Ow. They have Air Blast level 2. You know, sometimes the treasure chest will run from you. I'm going to use the analyzer. Alright, it's a good one. Oh, it's just a medical herb. And actually, I want to have Papoy in because... I need to level up this javelin now. Oh, this light trident. It doesn't look like a javelin. Yeah, I might need to move. Ooh. Yeah, I might as well show this one. Yeah. You can actually use the points on the whip to actually move your characters back over. Oh, I need way out of the way. Yep, we got ourselves another enemy that can summon more enemies. Bird can silence me. There we go. Alright, 
kind of looped over. Let's deal with these water bugs. And I'm just call them what the game calls them. I mean, there's Hoggins, but the game wants me to call them water bugs. Could gem missile these guys. And actually, I do need to heal. Easier to deal with than Tomato Man. Now, all of a sudden, I can't hit the come on, come on, bird. There we go. Just as I say I couldn't do something, I did it. Hmm, can't get to those stairs yet. Alright, this is a dead end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this seems getting stronger, and of course I have to take a Thunderbolt. his nemesis on. for a hard part. Luckily that nemesis now didn't confuse the point as I'm trying to get that javelin leveled up. There we go. Alright, so I can't go that way. I have to go up. Gnome's magic, so well, you might think it's well, it, it should be Earth Slide. 
I don't know why I called it Ross Lightning. Maybe I had Pokemon on the brain. Oh, so that should open up a, a new path. But where? Oh, right here. mention one thing about powering up your magic. Well, I don't think I neglected to tell you that, but it's more that I don't know if I worried it right, but again, your your spells grow more powerful, but the cost does not. So, so I do like that aspect of it. Alright, oh, gas. I got moogled again. So I'm supposed to go down. is keeping the corn bird around that some of these pebblers can help with my weapon levels. It might actually help me out more if they were if my party member if I sent my party members to be a bit more aggressive. And I should be, yeah. I, I'm, I'm in the snake slayer now. So, what do you call it? Oh, the Great Viper. You're Randy Morton? Nope. 1300 for 8 MP. Alright, Fear Silphid, so. I could go Air Blast, but I want to go Thunderbolt. Oh, and it can mini you also. Well, pig pigmized. And actually, I need to heal. And even your your icon at the bottom shrinks. But yeah, I think three thunderbolts will do it. Yeah, 418 damage. This is why I wanted to conserve for Poison P. I think this status eventually goes away. But I think for safety's sake, I'm going to use Remedy. Yep. I'm big again. Time for Thunderbolt number three. There we go. That was quick. That's how leveling up your spells really wrecks things. And I guess Sword Zorb. But yeah, let's keep going. You got a dragon to save. And, and there's only one dragon here. Did that Viper take, take them all out? Blue Eyes, White Dragon! Wait, this dragon actually does have blue eyes? I, I can just barely see the sprites. Well, the pixels. 
and the pixels that I guess are supposed to represent its eyes are blue. So it's literally a blue eyes right dragon. Screw the rules, I have money. Not really. Uh, so we can't leave it by itself. We can't carry it out. Yeah, I think we have to press the menu button to, to trigger the, the end of that sequence. Oh, so you're gonna raise this dragon for us. So you'll be able to screw the rules now. Even though you're the one who makes the rules. <laughs> oh. So we get to decide... No, we don't actually get to decide the name of the dragon. His name is Flammy. Just like in Trials of Mana, the dragon will always be named Flammy. Hmm, okay. Oh, so we can actually use the cannon again. Oh, so we have to go to the desert in Kakara. Okay. But first... No, we haven't left yet. Yeah, let's power up our sword. It was once the Herald Sword, now it's the Claymore. So we went from taking out the Viper to getting a Claymore. So, now, so it feels very WWE-ish. Yeah, I'm gonna save. I don't know if I forgot to check and see if ending that sequence actually restored my health, but I'm also going to check for time. Oh. Well, I think I'll just end it here. I could combine this episode with the last episode, but yeah, I'll just finish the episode here and next time we'll make our way to the desert. So until then, I want you to have a good day everyone and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Later everybody!